Hey guys, Eric. Um, okay, so this is this week's video. I am back on Target, finally. Thank you for your patience, and I am so, so sorry that I missed those videos. Um, but they are uploaded, they are good to go, and now I am your Wednesday guy again. So, how to support your trans student. This can be touchy. Um, everybody is afraid of lawsuits, and everybody is afraid of getting in trouble, of saying the wrong thing, not being politically correct, all sorts of shit. And when you are a teacher, you are under a lot of scrutiny, as it is. So, as a teacher who has a trans student, you need to have, or give them, the utmost respect. If that student comes to you, like with what I did this quarter at my school, um, on the first day I went up to them and I said, hey, my name's Eric. Um, you're not going to see that on the roster, though. This is my birth name. Um, I'm, I'm going through a sex change. I've started hormones, blah, blah, blah. Um, and they didn't really say much. It wasn't really a big deal. But they call me he in class, and they call me Eric in class, and they... That's it. That's all it was. And that's all it should be. I would say as a teacher of a trans student, you need to not make a big deal out of it. If you are at a big university and you know one of your students is trans, you have a very sterile, far distanced approach. You grade their papers, you give it back, you call them the proper pronouns in class, and that's it. If you're at a small university like I am, uh, I have gotten fairly close to some of my professors. They've become friends of mine, um, in a sense. Obviously, we only see each other at school, but I respect them, and I trust them, and I talk to them about my life problems. There's a few that I really have the utmost respect for. If you are that kind of professor, that kind of teacher, you have a little bit more of a special role. But if you are that close to a trans person already, you're probably doing everything right. Um, because that trans person would not be close to you if they didn't like the way you approach them. So in this situation, I would say, you know, listen to what the trans student has to say. And when you're starting a new quarter, you're going to have to learn everybody's names anyways. So just go with the name that they provided. Just don't even worry about the birth name. You can worry about that in paperwork later. Um, try to be politically correct. It's really hard to do that all the time, but try. Do what you have to do to make that student comfortable while also following school protocol. Um, some people will get really agitated if you are compliant with a transgender student. Some people will get really agitated if you're not, so you're not going to make everybody happy. Um, if, you, if you don't know what to do in your establishment, go talk to your higher-ups. Go talk to somebody who's above you. You might have some better insight um, or if you do it very delicately you can talk you can pull the, the student to the side talk to him or her and ask them what they want you to do it's going to be delicate it might be a little awkward but it'll make the rest of the quarter semester year go by a hell of a lot better um, so that's it's really all i have in supporting your trans student just because school is it's one of those things like you have to do certain things to make the whole system go smoother uh, and there are certain things that you just can't do so it's a little touchy you really probably should talk to your higher-ups just in case but uh, other than that just be respectful and try like all of these support videos just try that's all it is you all have a good week I will see you next week hopefully on time adios